Behold, a protein that couldn't belong in a Walmart anymore if it tried. Dear try. Experience the protein experts are calling aggressively mediocre. It's so boring. Taste the protein so underwhelming, it can only be described as mid. So fucking mid. Isoflex. Cookies and cream flavor by All Max. All right, guys. I I tried. I really, really tried. I was hoping that this was going to be a better protein. I, the last review I did, which was the peanut butter chocolate flavor, you can check that out. The card will be up in the right hand corner of the screen now i th was pleasantly surprised by the protein it, it brought a lot more to the table than i thought it would so stepping to this particular one i figured pretty much the same experience cookies and cream seemed like a pretty safe bet flavor wise but holy shit was i wrong this this couldn't have been more of a disaster without just straight up going to another protein that was trying to be trash. It was just an overwhelmingly garbage experience. Now, the original rating that I gave this protein when we were talking about the chocolate peanut butter flavor that I did last year, taste was a 3.8 out of 5, texture was a 4.3 out of 5, mixability was a 5 out of 5, and macros was a 4 out of 5. It, it brought a solid score to the table. Again, it surprised me. But this time, it's just no. Let's let's start off with the taste. The flavor of this is where it really just, it doesn't even stumble out of the gate. It straight up chops its own legs off at the knees and bleeds to death before it can even leave the gate. It's just garbage. The cream flavor has this very gross, awkward aftertaste. And it's not even to say that the taste in the foreground is really good. It's not. It's very lackluster. It doesn't have a creamy feel to it or a creamy taste to it. It's, it just has this artificial sweetener flavor to it, which I usually harp on people for using as a descriptor for flavor, but this really does have this fake flavor going for it, which is just not a good way to be. It just doesn't do any favors for this protein. The texture is is not helped either by the fact that they try to leave these little bits of like cookie, which I think they tr they're trying to make it seem like, oh, we put little cookie bits in there for you. Really, it just makes me feel like some very messy, gross person was eating Oreos over my protein shake and then got a bunch of their crumbs in it. And it's just, it's the least good part I can imagine about an experience of eating cookies and drinking a glass of milk. Like if you were to dip the Oreo into the glass of milk, you know how sometimes maybe like a piece of the Oreo cookie just breaks off and like, you end up with like the bits inside of your milk. I don't know about you, but I loathe that. That's trash, I hate it. And that's exactly why I don't dunk my Oreos into my milk don't at me point being that's kind of what this is like just these little bits floating in there which which kind of just makes it seem like it's just it wasn't mixed properly which is a great transition into the reason why i had to drop the score for mixability because it just feels like it doesn't mix properly i just i don't like the grittiness in there it's never something i've ever wanted to add to a protein so the fact that it's here is just confounding if somebody out there really loves it for some reason feel free jump into the comments let me know why i can't for the life of you tell you why this is something someone would want though uh, and the macros they're the same we can't really change those those are getting the same score so the score we're gonna have for this is going to be as follows the taste gets a 0.5 i am that disappointed in it 0.5 out of 5 texture you get a 2 out of 5 because who thought it was a good idea to leave those crumbs in there it's just it's gross i don't want the crumb texture in there it's just disgusting to me two out of five would not recommend that to anyone mixability four out of five i'm dropping it by a point because again it just 
the little crumb grittiness makes it seem like it didn't mix properly not about it and of course the macros stay the same so that is going to give this protein a score of 55 out of 100 a big fat d and honestly i hated this experience so much that i can't think of a protein that deserves it more so <sighs> That'll bring us to the end of this review. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about this, throw them into the comment section below the video. Of course, below the video, I'll also leave my social media links as well as a link to the Patreon. Please consider becoming a subscriber and join the galaxy. Become one of the stars out there in the galaxy supporting us and what we do here, which is evidence-based content for the fitness space and, of course, very honest reviews of supplements. And of course, stay shining, because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. Peace.